please begin by making yourselves very, very comfortable. This meditation has been created to help increase your chances of experiencing relationships that fulfill you, that help you feel seen, that bring you the peace, the joy, the contentment, and the love you seek. Please make sure that all cellular devices have been turned off and that for the next 20 to 30 minutes, you will not be disturbed. This meditation has been created with theta brainwave frequencies. The information that you will hear in this audio recording will help you resolve old paradigms, old ideas, and old beliefs that no longer serve you and that may be interfering with your ability to vibrate on a frequency that correlates to healthy relationship dynamics. Please take in a deep breath through your nose, hold it for a count of two, and exhale. Notice how your body begins to melt and relax. Take another breath in through your nose, hold it for a count of two, exhale gently, bring your awareness into your upper back, and ask your upper back to relax. Bring your awareness into the back of your arms and ask your arms to relax. Bring your awareness into the area of your lower back and ask the muscles of your lower back to relax. Bring your awareness into the backs of your legs and ask your legs to simply relax. Bring your awareness into the back of your calves and ask your calves to relax. Allow your feet to fall to the sides gently, naturally. Bring your awareness into your forearms. Allow your palms to fall slightly to the side. Naturally, gently, palms facing up, releasing any stress and or tension, allowing and permitting any tension or stress to exit your body through your fingertips. Release and allow. Bring your awareness to the back of your head. Feel the back of your head and ask the muscles of your head to relax. Just relax. Feel the muscles of the back of your neck. Bring your awareness to the back of your neck and ask the muscles that make up the back of your neck to melt, to soften, 
and to release. Give your energy body permission to release any tension, any worries of the day, any anxieties. Give your energy body permission to release this energy through the tips of your fingers allowing your body to simply release energy that no longer serves you energy that you have picked up along the way throughout the days throughout the weeks throughout the months throughout the years and throughout lifetimes give your energy body permission to release just release bring your awareness to the muscles that make up the area around your eyes and your brow your forehead ask these muscles to release any tension direct this tension to your fingertips give this tension permission to leave your body through your fingertips releasing and allowing Bring your awareness to the muscles that make up your mouth, your chin, your jaw, your cheeks. Ask these muscles to relax and soften, giving them permission to simply be in their most relaxed state. Allow your jaw to drop and relax. Relax. This is your safe time. You are completely safe in this moment. Connected to the divinity within you. You are supported. You are loved. It is time to heal any ideas. that are corrupting your ability to flow in vibrational frequencies that are in alignment with peaceful and loving relationships. Very often times, the relationships we have with others are mirrors to the relationships we have with self. And the more loving, the more accepting, the more compassionate, the more forgiving, and the more understanding we are of our divine self, the more loving are the relationships we are able to have with others. When we learn to love the self and honor the self and respect the self, we slowly begin to expect others to love us in return, to respect us in return to have empathy for us in return, to have compassion and understanding in return. It is important that your subconscious mind understands that you deserve to be loved. 
it is important that your subconscious mind understand that it is not your fault if in your experience and especially in the experiences of childhood if you were conditioned to believe you were not worthy of love that is not your fault it is not your fault if within your subconscious mind there are no role models for healthy love it is not your fault if as a child you observed the adults in your relationship bickering fighting gaslighting abandoning minimizing withdrawing humiliating hitting abusing it is not your fault if below the veil of consciousness you have been running on programs that are not in alignment with that with which your conscious mind desires it is not your fault if consciously you wish to attract loving and peaceful relationships when if at a subconscious level the data you have stored for relationships is dysfunctional it is time to heal it is time to awaken it is time to understand the core beliefs that are corrupting your ability to attract love abundance and joy into your life it is time to understand that you are enough and that at your core you are completely light you are love and light you are essence everything that is is you the same creator that created the sky created you there is no one on this earth that is has been or ever will be more important greater or more worthy than you you are as worthy as any person that is any person that has been and any person that will be you have come to awaken to the love within you you have come to remember that you are a creator you have come to heal the paradigms that have plagued humanity for eons you have come to heal beliefs that represent darkness that represent the lack of light that represent the disconnect from love you have come to remember dear one that you are love you have come to remember that you are not your memories you have come to remember that you are not your past you have come to remember that you are not your experiences you have come to remember that you are everything and everything is you you have come to remember that when you heal the darkness within you when you heal the subconscious paradigms 
that are preventing you from flowing in love and preventing you from attracting the relationships that have the ability to quantify the love that you are. You have come to remember that all that is is you. You have come to remember that it is your birthright to heal from ideas, memories, and triggers that have you recreating childhood patterns that no longer serve you. You have come to awaken. You have come to transcend. You have come to realize that anyone who has come into your relationship that has reminded you to wake up, no matter how painful that relationship has served you. It is time to remember that when we know the darkness, we also know the light. It is time to remember that even the most difficult experiences serve us when we awaken from them. You have come to experience yourself as love. You have come to learn how to transcend beliefs that no longer serve you. You have come to help evolve humanity. You have come to help consciously shift consciousness. You have come to recognize that the power to shift consciousness and shift your world has been with you all along. You have come to bring love to yourself and to others. And when you remember that you are love, you begin to manifest things in your outer world that mirror this newfound vibrational frequency. When you love the self, you begin to understand that you are worthy. You begin to understand that you have the right to love yourself and to expect to be loved in return. The more you love yourself, the more you respect yourself, the more you accept that you've come here to connect to the love that you are, the easier it will be for you to transcend the fear and the illusion that you are unworthy. The more you accept that you are worthy, the less you will tolerate being abused, the less you will attract people who abuse you. The relationships that you have will shift as you no longer wish to, to participate in conversations that are useless, that are endless, the less negative energy and painful emotions you bring into your relationships. The more you are willing to see good in yourself, the more able you will be to see good in others. The more you accept that you do not need other people's validation, the less attached you will be to what other people think. 
the less angry you will be when other people do not validate you. You will simply accept that their reality is different than your reality. The more you are able to validate yourself, the less need you will have to feel that other people see what you see or feel what you feel. The less tension, the less anxiety, the less worry, and the less fear you will experience inside relationships with others. The more you believe that you are love, the less threatened you are when others do not validate you. The more you believe that you are worthy, the less you feel anxious when other people do not mirror that sense of worthiness back to you. The more you validate yourself, the less you need to be validated by others. The less you need to be validated by others, the less fear you experience inside relationships and the more able you are to vibrate at frequencies of peace and joy and non-attachment. The more you let go and believe you are enough, the more able you are to be present and to be yourself. The more you accept yourself, the less you need other people to accept you. beautiful things happen. The relationships that we are in begin to soften. The relationships that we're in begin to relax. Some relationships will not be saved. And this is only because those relationships we're not in alignment with the vibration of love that you have found within yourself. And that's okay. That's appropriate. Because the goal is to tap into the love that you are. To live through that love. To believe in that love. To resonate at that love and to attract people into your experience that can mirror that love back. And when relationships fall away that are unable to hold that frequency, it is then that we must allow the natural laws of vibration to occur. It is all part of the process. Like attracting like is part of the process. Learning to allow like vibrations to attract like vibrations is part of the process. The more we learn to love the self, the less we judge the self, the more we are able to love others and the less we judge others, the more ease exists in our relationships with self and others. Relationships that we have will either expand and grow or fall away. Both experiences are good. Both experiences are valid. Both experiences serve our higher good. Having loving relationships starts with learning to love the self. Having success in our lives first begins with having success with the relationship with self. To have a healthy relationship with others starts with having a relationship with self that is built on 
and based on self-responsibility, self-discipline, self-understanding, self-compassion. The more responsible we are with self in all areas of our life, including our homes, including our finances, including how well we nurture the body through food, nutrition, and exercise, meditation, and personal development. The more responsible we are for all areas of our life, the more beautiful and wonderful will be our relationships with others. If we want to feel respected by others for who we are, for what we do, we first must respect the self, who we are, what we do, how we live. The more willing you are to be responsible for every area of your life, your career, your mental health, your physical health, your home, your finances, your hygiene, the way you speak, the thoughts you think, the words you say, the conversations you participate in, what you focus on, what you bring into your field of awareness. The more responsible you are in all areas of your life, the more aware you are, the more conscious you are of the energy that you bring to every area of your life. the more able you will be to manifest the relationship that you desire. The more able you will be to transform the relationships that you are in. Healing paradigms takes time. Healing subconscious programming takes time. It is a neurological journey. It is a chemical journey. It is an emotional journey. It is a conscious journey. The more dedicated and committed you are to never giving up, to shifting when you need to shift, the more capable you will be of manifesting all that you desire. Remember that the world that you see with your physical eyes is but a reflection of what is happening within you. The more you turn within and tend to the home within you, and all the rooms within you. The more you tend to these rooms, the more responsible you are for what is happening within you, the more beautiful you are able to manifest the world outside of you. When you master the inner, you also master the outer. You are worthy and you are enough. If you wish, you may stay in a deep meditative state or at the count of five, you may awaken. One, become aware of the sounds in your room. Two, wiggle your toes. Three, wiggle your fingers. Four, take a nice deep cleansing breath. Five, open your eyes, wide awake, 
wide awake. Namaste.